What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got part 11 of Red Dead Redemption 2. Last video, we did quite a bit. Found about a love affair between the Greys and the Braithwit. Uh, kids. The kids, the youngins. Today, we're going to start off the video with a heist. We're going back to Valentine, robbing the bank. It's going to just, we're just going to kill everyone there, apparently. I actually don't know, we might actually do Dutch's mission first. I actually didn't see this first. Uh, Yeah? I don't remember that one. We're actually going to start off with Bounty, though. Not Bounty, oh my god, I was reading the description of Dutch's mission. Uh, We're going to go to Bill. Heist. And yeah. It was actually pretty far away, I just realized. And here's that. Oh. We need to talk to you. Lane's coming. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since horseshoe. But you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. Because it's just I one of those things. Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really Cause it's never my fault. I never right? actually do All anything. I'm always taking orders, so I never start just anything. Off, we linger. And if serious? No, just and when I start something, I'm not a dumbass. But I usually don't start anything else. I do it solo, so no one finds out if I messed up or not. Four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So, is the take? Good. According to the fella I met, anything yes. Arthur starts it's up, he does concept. solo. Plenty of money. Anything plenty of usually mess. Anything that's usually messed up, it's called one of those things because he didn't okay. start it. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Oh, I bet. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. Arthur's looking Karen. nice. Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead. I should go to Valentine. To the just gonna store, clothes store it's there. A small bank in a little town, nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, well, can I go to the convenience store, the general right. store, Follow me. and get clothes that way? But do they have every clothes, every piece of clothing? I don't think they do, because then why would they have a clothing store? So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Either should work. We're we riding the entire way. We'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, 
best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. It seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up. It's just one of them things. That wasn't my fault. I, I literally... If anything, that well, was John and who else was there? Strauss? I don't know what to tell you. It was their Surprise, fault. I had to save them. Ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. Wasn't it the girl behind us that got the lead? So, thinking this through, drive Cornwall's train. We shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. Unless they're I smart sure or dumb. That's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Nothing else to talk about? This is the first bank job or a robbery I did with this horse. I actually didn't take that long to get here. I thought it was going to take longer. I think all of you could get in scot free, but I think it would just be Arthur. Oh, yeah. We got a different horse though, right? Stands out 100%. So quiet. Good morning. Hello. Okay, let's leave the horses here off the main drag. Right, Can I right, not Jen. grab a gun? Here nope. we are. Okay. Get ready. Guess I'm stuck with my pistols.
Yeah? Go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellas. Not suspicious. I'm supposed to hold X. Guess so. Don't be suspicious. So Don't be suspicious. We never decided. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? Honestly, I think you'd be good at the harlot. Uh. So which one? Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. Yo. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, a lot of you. Now where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. They were growing out Arthur's beard this time around. I usually don't, but I'm doing it this time. I really think you should leave, madam. I'm not leaving. See how far I can grow. No, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. Darn like you don't know me. All stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just between us. I've never seen this balloon in my life. Get your goddamn Run. hands up! This Go. is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Get a word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! It's unlocked. We're good. Shall we? Oh, you think we're here? No. No. Come on. Yes. Oh, open that goddamn vault. Oh, oh. Open it. Oh, oh. Too goddamn slow. Just open the goddamn door. Son of a bitch, hurry up! Come on! How much pass? How long is the password? Oh my god. I'm in! Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here! Come here. Open the lock boxes now! I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I. God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Should we just blow it? Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. Now you shut the hell up. Yeah, we're blowing them. Still. I actually usually usually crack them when I do this okay, mission. I think this is like the first time I've actually blown them. But we're hey, doing it. Should all blow up from that, right? It's taking a while. Okay, they all blew up. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. Hurry up, Arthur. We need to get out of here. How's it looking there? Good. I told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Oh my god, we got so much money. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? That's Nearly it. Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. Yeah, it's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Gentlemen, hurry! We seem to have some company. Well then. I said come out now. What do we do? I don't know. Give me a sec. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What are you insane? Probably. Not gonna shoot a woman. Don't shoot. Don't shoot him. I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss. Sorry. How do you miss?
My bad. Me not. Which way we go? We're gonna cut, run into them. Really? Y'all are slow. Be near it. Why are we going back? Off that. All right. I think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp, and make sure you ain't followed! <sighs> okay. Yep. This is Downs. Oh, yeah. Yep. We have to do two missions in one? God dang. Is this when we give her money? I think it's a choice if we give her money or not. I didn't even look at my horse's stamina while we were running. Did it have any? Because we were running for a while. This was just really fast. Hey, you're okay, girl. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 
Dead bird. And we're here. What did it, how did how, Strauss find out that this guy was dead? My husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Being cutscene back, thank God. Guess it wasn't. Oh my god, we made like 3,000 from that. Okay. Honestly, do I change up my clothing? Do I do it? I think I shall. Let's go, girl. So, do I change out my clothing now, or do I wait till we get to Blackwater? Not Blackwater, um, Saint Denis. I think I look at what they got. I actually don't know if they have clothing. They have accessories. Or should I buy guns? I'll actually just do the missions. We'll wait till I uh, uh, get to San Denis. Arthur, Arthur. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. <laughs> Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Yes. What is he doing? Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Yeah, Arthur and Charles make a good team. 
I don't know how my horse got on this side, but magically did. Yeah, take your time. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Chelani about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. Something like that. Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Is he? Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I think it's just up here. This place? He doesn't stay in camp. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Where's that hair? What do you think? I... Excuse me? I got... Give me a clue. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Uh, this is to clarify that he's the holder there? of shares in exclusive in the above company subject to the provisions. Yeah, okay. I don't care about that. Bed's not made. So, he must have been here recently. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe, uh, 12 hours ago? But no body? Not yet. Look, tracks. Come on. All right, girl. Hmm. Went down the path here. So we're following the Morgan. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No. Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. Guess he can do that here. Yeah. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. <laughs> they could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. See? 
They must have crossed over the tracks. There, These girl. tracks lead into the forest here. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. What are you getting off for? We're talking to this guy. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. He just me. slapped me. I'm not a fan of getting slapped. Damn. You stay there. Where's my hat at? Son of a bitch! Okay! Okay, for Christ's sake! They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left! Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Good, thank you for telling me. Well done. Wow! He I just praised me for that. Get in the middle there. Come on, let's go. Ha! Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Well, I think I remember this you mission okay? now. I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent. Keeping fish on the line. Well. Wow. Okay. Nice sunset. Almost there? I think we are. That must be it. Hold. Let's get you out of here. 
Come on, boy. The thing is, after that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so uh, you're alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them off. You should have shot them. This. Sons of bitches. They've gone into the cornfield. We need to flush them out. Look at the first. Go that way. Damn. Can I search him? God, sons of bitches. Twenty five bucks. God damn. Coming. They're gonna get away. Find them. God damn these sons of bitches. Come on, man. We got one more, Charles. One more. There isn't just two. Oh my God, they're both rich. Where the birds are. I like I know where that is. Hey, I see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Where are you? <gasps> He's mine. Let me grab your him. gun and shoot him, Arthur. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. <laughs> Damn! Come on. He, he should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Oh. Thank you. The guns. Shots are coming from that barn. Come on. Oh my. How do I miss the stairs? God damn. There he is. Take him out. I can't really see much. Good. He should be the last of them. <sighs> All right. Let's go back for Trelawney. If he's still you know there. That? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Now there was a Come on. guy up Let's here. Let's see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. Uh, I wonder how much trouble no he brought with him. Oh. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> Sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. 
It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. But keep him there. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but even that ain't the way I remember it. And now we're in town. Need you now, girl. Where do we go now? Ooh, we got a question mark here. It's been a while since we've done a stranger thing. I think we do that to me go see John. I think this is the black guy. Oh, there's another one. Hey, that one's the black one. Nope, this one is. You okay there, mister? You need me to move. Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. The man wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was... Irritating in nature, or just or all the above. Some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But no great love for my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, I won't. Are you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. And I just know where that is, I guess. There's a th he goes and helps other people. Makes sense. We're the only good thieves out there. Anyone else can't be taking stuff. Okay, girl. It's by law, only the Vanderlyn gang can take and steal whatever they want. Dang, they're this is far. Hey, you're okay, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Not 
Not a fan of that, this uh, place. Shoot it. Over. Where is it? I am black. Like, we didn't even get to talk. I mean, they're pretty dumb. Picking a fight with Arthur Morgan? AKA me? There be no alligators out here. Are they in the water? Well, let me eat something. And take this okay, back to him. Get you back to the dock. Kinda looks like a soup thing. Or a carnival kind of thing. Magician. These guys. I was not expecting that. Like, in my entire time of hunting in this game, my horse has never gotten that close. Uh, you know this feller, don't you? 
Look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, yeah. let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Can I use this to stop? Yeah, I'm not remembering that. Whoa, where is my horse at? Oh, no, I did not. Okay, my horse is here. I thought I forgot to call my horse. All the way back at that other place. Let's go. Can I knock it on my horse? Yep. Let's go see what this is about. I won't say no more. You can't assign my son. But you won't. You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. <clears throat> Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you, if that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here. Living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. Oh my. <sighs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only. I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's Stead, north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Bank says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time, time is hell. Okay. You know what? We'll go do that right now. I should go sell some stuff first. Whoa, whoa. Well, long time no see, stranger. <laughs>
Okay. Been a minute. Got anything good for me by any chance? As long as you have the items I need. Oh. Okay. There's a lion in this game? I had no clue that there was a, a lion in this game. What? You probably find it down by Blackwater or a part where I can't go. Listen, you end up going St. Denise's way, you don't bother with the shop there. Idiot marks up his prices because I'm pretty sure I just saw this. Made money, you see? Then we got dynamite. Do I just buy everything? Should I? Yeah, I think I will. Boom. Really? Boom. 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 You will love that, I swear. Boom. Boom. Seven hundred dollars right down the drain. Then we got hoods there. We got bait. Really? You won't regret it. I already have bait, beans, tomahawk. Do I have to look at them all? Don't you tell no one, you hear? The first, the second. The third. The fourth. The fifth. The sixth. The seventh, the eighth, a horse meal actually might make this. Current beats hypo cue. Uh, four, eight, nine. Ooh, a hatchet with a feather? A homing one. Firmly hold tomahawk, secure feather around. Stow tomahawk for use. Huh. Eleventh. Poisoned arrows and we've got the twelve. We've got a lot. I'm pretty sure I opened all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, maybe not. Name nothing you can do. I didn't study this year. 
Oh okay, crap, let's go. Yeah. Actually, hold up. Meal in here. Okay, lock. So I think all the locks ones are pamphlets that I just have to look at. Okay, so I just don't have any of that. Yeah, I gotta make that one time. Go down here. Are these little wine raiders? Yep. They should have bank, right? Four dollars, eh, still good. I'll make back some money. And I just sold a bunch of stuff, so I'll be making that money back. Each had quite a bit of money. I mean, I got like a hundred times more, but they were still pretty wealthy. Come on, girl. They could buy five apples with the. Horse food? Kind of. Yeah. Okay, girl. Oh, where are you going? I thought he was still on the path. But he's way off it. I gotta clean my horse. Ooh, and we're here. Easy now. Can't walk him. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne. We do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Rhodes. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley, Clerk, November 18th, 1895. I like these letters because they actually... 
tell you. It actually reads it out to you. I'll just go in the back door. Uh, okay, buddy. Watch pistol. A lot of bottles. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. Wow. June 7th, 1855. Dear sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Well, he was living it up. Pretty nice house. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Here's truly Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Okay. Where's all this old crap? Where's the picture? A letter. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. We just keep in all these. Pa, oh, God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. Who is that? Oh, well, it was Rance, apparently. Ah, uh, trap door, huh? <laughs> huh? What you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. Looks like they want to get shot. Yours. <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Bitch. Oh, he's God in his damn. ass kick. Come on, man. Where are you going? Come on. Really? It's ours. How you doing in there? What are you doing? Oh, you're dead.
I don't know why I didn't do that from the start. Do you have a gun? I should have just done that from the start. I don't know why I kept slashing. That's not my hat. Uh oh, that'll be the pistol. Uh, just the ledger now. Oh. Let's go under, shall we? No ghost be down here. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war. And justice went out. <laughs> June 64. Oh. God. Let's see what's in there. I mean, I already know, but let's all take a look. Is this your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Whoa. Anything else? Probably not. Well, let's get out of here. I have to read, th read this letter. Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. Really doesn't do good at his job, does he? So I can't get out that way either. I can just go off road there. Oh, did not see that. And that's why I don't like off roading. My horse is dirty. God dang. Not about us. Just when they needed us, they threw us away like, like shit on their boot. I'm 
times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just... It's all... It's all going to hell. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are for what pissing What are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. Let's go talk to John now. Yeah. Whoa! Oh my god. And I can't see anything right now. I'm just looking at the map and going. Easy, girl. Uh, here we go. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. And now you could tell. I missed the opening by a little, wow. Yeah. I've done that so many times, just smacked right into the a fence. Or a tree. There, girl. Can I help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. And I just know my way, apparently. Everybody. Am I impressing him? My partner, Arthur Morgan. No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. They're hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, I'm gonna get some water. He's seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. 
These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them they'll get you five thousand. Five thousand for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Well. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Now we're horse robber. Yeah. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Hosea and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But, if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. At least Arthur's not dumb. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, let's head on up to the stables. Yeah. Someone will come see ya. They got no communication. To know if we're lying or telling the truth. That would never, never happen nowadays. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Look out! Alright, I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Let's hitch up here. Hup. Whoa! Good girl. Not good enough for you? Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in? What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here is Cerberus. 
There you go, boy. Cerberus is a real, reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's, uh, old faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly. Until he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Amazing runner, though. He's up for sale for a decent price. The boss would probably sell him to you if you made the right offer. And this here is Old Father Time. <laughs> My favorite horse. His coat might be a little thin for them Saratoga winners, but, uh... Red, right? He'll produce another winner. Just look at those balls. <laughs> greaser, huh? Uh-huh, greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. I can't really... Don't need nobody recognizing us. Can't really have you killing them. Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa. Easy, easy now. Easy. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Easy. You're okay. Easy. It's okay, boy. This way. Come on. Well, at least we got to know. I'd never Marshall, usually let right him talk. Back. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here! I what the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop! Stop! Oh. oh. Shot the head off of that this horse in front of me. That was close. Don't got time for you running off. Come on now. Hey Morgan! Over here! You got him! Well done! Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Easy. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Come here! No, they're not. Maybe like a hundred bucks for these three?
What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Wait, that's not even good for three horses. That are probably around like 300 each. Three to five hundred each. Yarn spun us by one of that gray family. And imagine we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. How much money? One twenty eight. Honestly? What are we missing in here? Good morning, Arthur. Arthur. Boom, what are we missing in here? Good morning, Arthur. 360? Where's my phone at? Let me do some math. How that movie's not copyright. Calculator. Uh, 360 minus 70.99. Okay. I give that. Sent more. Let's upgrade it. Oh, hi, Dutch. What's wrong now? I've seen you looking at her, Dutch. Who? You know. And now we're good. For you, am I? That's how it usually works with you, isn't it? You're delusional again. Won't even look me in the eye, but you look at her all day. Doesn't Arthur, what I said, they're always fighting. Fantasy you're currently living in. Fantasy. Dominoes? I, I haven't played dominoes in a while. Have the inner How are you? Live, new. Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think. As a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Well, she always like this. I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. 
So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. We'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Yeah, no, I physically, like, forgot how to play dominoes. I think it's just matching. So we could put a four down, or a... One. Nothing here. And then you just put something down. Where do you pull that from your ass? And then we got ones, threes, three, one. Ooh, we got ones over here. Nothing on this one. And then you put something down. here what is how so you just get rid of all your pieces nothing here so whoever goes first like I don't I don't get it target score of 500 but it doesn't if the Pinkertons could see make you now, sense killer bank robber dominoes player you gotta keep them on their toes not the way you wanted to get arrested though imagine the newspaper headlines well, keep your eye out then. Should I be calling you Deputy Morgan now, Arthur? I hear you. Catching up. All done in dominoes. I don't know what I'm doing, but sorry, ain't worth much. Oh, I won. I'll play one more game. Well, I should wait till I get to 100, because that's the score. One here. Still useless. Oh, we have to pick up? I guess I kinda feel bad for you. Oh my god. That's rigged. How are things with you? 
Can I put down double? No. Great. Here. I can't do much with that. Well, whoops for you. Yeah, it is. Just fill it up, why not? Ah, no good. Fill up the tire board, let's I do it. I kind of feel bad for you. There. Damn, that's not pretty. I got 50. How? I don't know. There we have it, Domino. Man, you lucky ass. You're doing okay. Seventy. Just putting all the highest pieces I got down. Ouch. You're in real shit. Which is apparently the play. That's not looking up, amigo. Come on, I need something. Yeah, fill it up. Seven. This ain't worth nothing. Been waiting for this. What? Oh, you'll have your chance on the next one. Yeah, screw you. Domino is like the worst game. How do you even play it? Who is this person? Arthur. Ah, uh, Trelawa. Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well. I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Well, let's go see. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? 
Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strength, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. And very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Ah, I see. Well, okay. Come on! Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. You worked hard, girl. Taking a while, aren't you? Are they making that noise? Well now. Well, there it is. Hello, Alden. <gasps> Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman terrible woman they often are but how's work alden terrible wages got cut again they reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us <laughs> they've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel the witness of bosses i know my comrades here and i are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty a discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. There. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, a feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well. Goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Wow. Coach coming south down the river road through a uh, sit water strand, valuables and strong box. Passenger is a very wealthy Mrs. Chester Dams and aspiring, but Pauling and opera singer use your imagination. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay, I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go this way. Following you. What did I tell you? 
simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, Strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. And silence. Here we are. Except for cows. Should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> And I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. So how's your day going? Is right on time. Ah, Let's never go. mind. There it is. Keep your distance so no small talk. Please leave that gun in its holster for once. Okay. Ooh, there's perfect cows here. Didn't know that. There's a lot of them. Yep. What's he doing? I can just barely hear him. Tor, 
é vivo. Oh, I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough. But Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Yep. Wow. Arthur, a little finesse for once. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Do you want you for that? And I got the bounty hunters on me. Oh, All nope, we're good. Right, well, let's head back to camp. Sleep till morning. And end the video. Is there hotels here? Actually, let's go look at the guns. See what's up with the guns here. Conquered evil the way I have, it's the least a humble man can do. The gun store yeah, or the well, convenience yeah, store? Uh, it's about time. the convenience store. Yeah, yeah. Who else will teach us Let's see what he sells. Yeah, guy with the snake bite says I can put some here on his tab. That fool? Jesus. If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his old, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you thing. choose. I'll add it to his list. Nah. Let's cut some coats. Nah. I like this. You know what?
Um. Okay. Boom. Let's let's get a new outfit. You're paying next time, though. Yeah. Okay. Chill. Simmer down, will ya? Ah, uh, I'm paying. These ones. I'm just gonna buy them plain. Then we got shoes. Those ones. Oh, I don't know. Oh my. It's either this one or this one. We'll go, ah, son of a bitch. It's either we go light at the bottom or dark. I think we go with that. And then accessories. Ooh, gloves. I forgot about those. We got those, these, and these. We go with these. Red? They're good. Boom. Um, boom. Then on the back, we got these. Don't really know what they were used for. Uh, there's gold, and then this one, I think it was.
A... Yeah, we'll go with that one. And that is it. Yep. And now we look at the gun store, that took a while. We could go to food. So hunting and fishing actually. Bait. Bait. Crickets, worms. I can't buy this one. Then we got coffee. That's it. We got ammo. Don't really need any of that. So yeah, hair horse care. Ooh, I forgot a hat. Let me. All right. Here it is. I always forget about hats. Uh, all. Um, how do I put this? Hurry the hell up. Damn! My bad, homie. Earth looking a lot of freshened up. Boom. Looking freshened up. Let's go look at the gun store now. Pretty sure this one has somebody in its basement. If we go over here, yeah. Oh, I can't look down there right now. Okay. Maybe I have to actually use the store. So, you're back. What can I do for you, huh? Back? Haven't been here. Sure, don't go greasing up the pages, though. What's that supposed to mean? Let's just, like, boom. We just buy everything, because why not? We're rich. Had to have it, eh? No idea what the best one is. We're just gonna buy everything we can. I'm pretty sure this one's the best gun, if I'm not mistaken. For damage, hold up. Okay. Two and a half. Above two. Yeah, it is. Fine choice. Yeah, the Lancaster is the best repeater. And then Springfield rifle does the ah rifle. Don't really know what the best one is. I don't really use them. All right.
Oh, Max, uh, fam out here. Making this guy rich. Listen, you won't take all sixty two dollars. Okay. Okay. And then we just gotta buy more ammo. How much more ammo? God dang, an extra 100? For some of them. You're gonna buy something, right? Nice. Do I buy more ammo? Oh my god. You won't take all day, will you? You need to like chill. I'm gonna upgrade my guns so I wanna see what this looks like. Thank you. Kinda look badass. Oh hell yeah, Arthur. You look mighty fine. Let's go back in, shall we? Customize our weapons. Let's customize all the revolvers first. Uh, select clean weapon. Don't well, got it. Gun ain't shining. Glad you take care of what's yours. Upgrade the grip. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. Do I make it white? Actually, you know what? I'm actually like. Not gonna upgrade that. Maybe some other time. But the revolvers that are good are these ones, right? No. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. It's good the volcanic pistols here. So we got both of them as the sidearm. Oh. Okay. Uh, equip sidearm, side, clean. You don't keep your gun clean, it's liable to bust on you just when you need it. I could put some sights on that if you're interested. Now, mm. black, do I go with black? Uh, I don't want to go with, I don't want to go with wood though. We'll just make Your that longer. That. Boom. Ah, you fucker. We'll go black. Metals? What kind of metals we got? Oh, we can choose. So to go with black. Um, I can't really see, like, at all. You're gonna buy something, right? Man, I can't... Okay. That gun looks like shit.
be better just to make it all gold, wouldn't it? Let's chuck an all black day, gun. Right? Yeah, no, that looks like shit. Um, white, no, black. Uh, that could be. What is this? Oh, it's the sights and then the trigger. Ah. Uh... This here stalls as proud and fine as the town it lives in. Oh yes. Ah, fucking hell. Let ah uh, bye. Engravings. Sold a shotgun to a hunter last week. Made near twenty dollars in sales to the butcher this week alone. Where's my cut, huh? <laughs> What color? White. I make sure to test all my goods for quality and defects. That's a guarantee. You know what? We're gonna go with... That one. Carvings. Let's go with uh, a snake. Ammunition, we already maxed out. That's the first one. Then the second one. That Grip. Seems to be well taken care of. Black. Barrel. We'll do the same thing. That's more like it. Style, metal, uh, black, white, white, I think I made that white. Boom, boom, boom. I'm pretty sure that's how it went. But if I'm being honest, I couldn't tell you hammer I think maybe that was black this here stalls as proud and fine as the town it lives in oh yes engravings we got it was this one we're gonna go with that one with gold The snake this time sold a derringer to a seamstress. We'll do bird. Why not? Ammunition to max out. And then boom. Good. And then the only repeater that I will physically be using unless I don't have a choice. Lancaster. You wrap that thing in coal and mud? And these gun, ones, right. I'm going to... Yeah, gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a thing. That'll help, I'm sure. Make into wood. That's and wrap it. Great. Metals? These could honestly just be all cold. No, I lie. I lie. They can't. Let me just pop, 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 pop. Okay. Everything is good. Oh, my lord. Okay. I 
I make sure to test all my goods for quality and defects. That's a guarantee. The site. I outfitted the sheriff and all his deputies, you know. Yes, sir. Duh, where's the hammers? This. Son of a... I couldn't tell ya. Always happy to help. Um, okay. What if I just go like that? You spend much time in the parlor house? Every time I'm there, I thank God I'm armed. Frame? Make the frame darker. This can be white. Okay. That can go brown. Uh, okay. Why not? This here store's as proud and fine as the town it lives in. Oh, yes. I make sure to test all my goods for quality and defects. That's Boom. a guarantee. Carving doesn't really matter at like at all. But why not we'll get uh bear, why not? Leather. I maybe shouldn't say this, but I sold a derringer to a seamstress. A white one, of course. It's either walnut or tobacco. No, walnut or chocolate. Tobacco, no. Walnut. Or chocolate. I think we gonna go with chocolate. Now I do have some foreign made yeah. when it's quality, but here in Rhodes, American is preferred. Burnish. Uh we'll go with that one. And then ammunition, boom. Honestly, those are gonna be the only guns I use unless I go hunting. I go hunting. I'm gonna use other guns But if we're being honest, that's like the only one I'm going to use Now Hunting knife let's upgrade that cuz why not? Metal That could really shine with some carbon in it boom Engravings Varnish. Okay. Looking good. I think I'm gonna upgrade the pump, and we'll be and we'll be done. Cause I'm go I use the Looks pump like kind of. Good it's the see. only shotgun I use. I don't use anything else. 
And it, I, I rarely use this as well. That's a wise investment. You'll notice the difference. Metals. So this is going to be another one of those. No idea what I'm doing. Actually, it already looks decent. It actually already looks decent. Let's just go to engravings. I actually can't see anything. We got flowers. This here stalls as proud and fine as the town it leaves it. Uh, we'll go with. This one costs the most, but it ain't the best. Um, between the first two, I think I'd go with that one. Oh shoot, I forgot I could do this. Carving doesn't really matter, but we went with bear last time. See, Mr. Banks across the way there. We'll go with he the bird first. He's nice enough when you get to know him. Leather. We're not gonna go with honestly chocolate again. And then varnish just honestly kinda looking good. Kinda looking good, see. not gonna lie. I'm a bit of a hunting enthusiast, as you may have surmised. Okay. I, I think we're done now, actually. We actually just upgraded everything that we're going to use. If I'm honest, you're going to rarely see me use anything other than the pistols. Um, okay, we're good. You reckon I can look down here? No? Okay. Well, let's get back to the base. Yeah, I got money, and I kind of just used it all. Yeah. I'm basically where I left off. And I also didn't upgrade all my weapons. I usually upgrade all my weapons, but I'm not... It's just a waste of time to do that. You're all right, girl. Let me I, pull them out. We've got the Lancaster and these two. So let's... Look at these one. Okay, then. Looking pretty good. Oh, damn. Looking good. Now, that one. Oh, we also upgraded the shotgun. Aim that. Oh, damn. Beautiful. And then the shotgun pump. Looking badass. All black. Don't even mess with them. Oh yeah, no, that's that's just perfect. Boom. Should I... Can I mess with my bow? I don't think I can. Well, that was a f for fulfilling episode today. Yeah, good girl. Started off by robbing a bank at Valentine. Who is it? 
and it's off buying every gun and changing my outfit and changing the, and customizing my weapons too. So yeah, kind of went 30 minutes over. But yeah, made eight dollars in camp today. Morning, Arthur. Morning. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Can I shave? I don't really want to. Damn. If I just, he just in. pop like that, Hi, my or like that, I honestly think Arthur would look good like this. I want to keep. I'm gonna keep all of it. I usually don't. I sometimes I'd like cut it down to like here or here, but I'm actually gonna like keep it just the entire time. See how far I can get it. Oh. Did something bad. Found a dog. Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. Is this when we fi find Kane? <laughs> well, <laughs> what did Kane do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. I don't know if that's true or not. We're gonna um not sleep because it's morning but if you guys did enjoy the video leave a like subscribe turn on post notifications so you do get so you do get notified when i do upload and i'll see you guys in the next one peace